Hey everyone, Dave from BC Bushcraft. Uh, today's video, I am looking for fatwood. I'm trying to find um, a really, really big deposit of fatwood somewhere. Um, I've come out to a logged area. The reason why I went, came to a logged area instead of a forest to look for fatwood is so I can see um, viable fatwood stumps a lot easier. Um, the bracken fern is like higher than waist height. You can kind of see behind me some of them have grown quite high. So obviously it's a lot better to do this probably in the winter <laughs> or uh, you know when the snow is gone and things haven't grown like crazy in the springtime. But regardless, um, I came to a logged area. I'm going to kind of trek through it and look for some good stumps that might contain fatwood. Uh, the tree that I'm looking for uh, that, you know, I'm on Vancouver Island, so Pacific Northwest, um, a lot of Douglas fir fatwood in this region. It's all over the place, uh, all over the forests, every, <laughs> everywhere you can think of. And uh, that's my main goal is to look, look for that stuff. So um, there are some pine fatwood and this bee is just, just all over me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can obviously find uh, pine fatwood and maybe, I don't know, larch. There's some other trees that can, uh, <laughs> some other trees that can uh, produce fatwood in this lifetime. But uh, I'm searching for Douglas fir fatwood. Uh, the difference in it, it's got a red tinge to it. It doesn't have the yellow tinge to it that a typical um, pine fatwood would have. So the stumps are, that I'm going to be looking in, they're going to be kind of rotting around the outside. They will be like kind of red, dusty-ish looking um, when you break it apart. And on the center of it, there should be a column of fatwood. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, the heartwood of the Douglas fir tree is basically where all the resin ends up collecting when a tree is like dead or broken off or something's happened to it in its life. And then all the tree, the resin has kind of settled in the heartwood down towards the bottom of the stump. That's how fatwood is kind of formed, I believe, something like that along those lines. Anyways, uh, it's highly rot resistant. So the outside, outer stump will, will rot away before that uh, center column of fatwood will even become close to decaying. So the best way to look is to look for a stump and see like kind of a spire or a pillar or something sticking out of that stump. Most likely you got yourself some fatwood. And like I said, I'm looking for Douglas fir fatwood. You can find pine, you get pine stumps, uh, you'll get fatwood in there too. So depending on where you live, it might be different trees. Uh, maybe you might not even have a tree that produces fatwood. So uh, this video doesn't, <laughs> doesn't pertain to you guys, but regardless, I'm in a logged area and trying to get a vantage point and just look and see if I can find any viable stumps that will give me a nice, nice piece of fatwood. I'm looking for, you know, a thick column of it today. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully we find some good fatwood out there. So I'm pretty sure I just found two prime candidates for some really nice fatwood deposits. Uh, you see the two stumps in front of me, one here and then one over here. Uh, that looks like almost guaranteed fatwood. You can see the, that column, that spire coming out of that stump. That stump has a reddish hue. You might not be able to see it from here. So it looks like a Douglas fir stump to me. And then that other one over there looks very Douglas fir like. Doesn't have the same column as this one, but it still has um, some spires coming out of it and that one probably has fatwood in it too. So uh, I'll make my way over there through this ridiculously thick bracken fern that's the size of me. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here's a close up of the stump. Let me just get myself organized. So in here you can see all the crumbly reddish looking wood that I'm telling you guys about. You know, um, this is just so typical of a Douglas fir, um, really typical of a Douglas fir stump. So that's one sign. And then this guy, I've already just taken a slice. That is all fatwood. This whole thing, that's solid, right? Come down here. This stuff is all rotted, totally rotted out. So I would totally, I would assume that that's, that column of fatwood 
goes there all the way down to the bottom of the stump. The stump is really big, so um, I don't need to collect all of it. I might just try to cut off this top part here and we'll see what it, you know, what the cross section of this looks like. To say this is hard to film is an understatement. <laughs> Check it out, look how big that thing is. <laughs> I mean, the center's not, this part's a little bit rotten and um, I don't have my mic plugged in right now, but whatever. Um, that's a full solid piece of, of fat wood. And this is just the top, the very top that you saw me cut off, you know, not, not too much more. And uh, that's a really, really like, this will last you forever. I mean, you don't need this much fat wood. I'll probably give it away to people and stuff like that, but still, this is super, super awesome. You want to find large, large amounts of fatwood. Go to logged areas. Look for stumps like the one I just showed you. And uh, just take a saw or an axe and have that. Or I would suggest not um, destroying that whole big stump because, you know, it's a big ecosystem of ants. There's ants all over, crawling all over this. So if you do find a really big stump like that, don't ruin it all. You know, just take what you need. I just took, like, the top part that's sticking up. I didn't have to destroyed the stump too much to get what I needed from nature. I thought I might so, as well try and light some of this on fire, hey? Since we collected it and all. Get some shavings off of the flat part. See how red that is? That's the Douglas fir fatwood compared to your usual pine fatwood or whatever you find in the stores. All right. Out of breath from sawing. <laughs> there you go. Nope. There we go. Not bad, eh? Not too bad. Anyways, this is Dave from BC Bushcraft. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned to mo for more bushcraft uh, type videos and, you know, all that good stuff. So until next video, I hope you guys have a great day.